When it comes to information security, the ISO 27001 standard is one of the most powerful tools a business can have. But what makes it so effective? It's the security controls. In this video, we'll break down the key controls and measures required by the ISO 27001 framework to help keep your organization's data safe and secure. ISO 27001 controls are the specific actions and safeguards that organizations must implement to protect sensitive information. These controls cover a wide range of security areas, from physical security to digital access and employee training. Let's dive into some of the most important controls required by the ISO 27001 Framework First Access Control. One of the core security controls in ISO 27001 is access control. This involves limiting who can view or edit specific information. Role-based access ensures that employees only have access to the data they need for their job. Multi-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security by requiring users to verify their identity in more than one way. These measures help prevent unauthorized access to your sensitive data, second cryptography, and encryption. Another critical control is cryptography, making sure that sensitive information is encrypted both at rest and in transit. Whether it's files stored on your servers or data sent over the internet, encryption ensures that even if the data is intercepted, it's useless without the proper decryption key. This is essential for protecting customer information. Financial data and intellectual property. Third, physical security. Physical security is often overlooked, but it's an essential part of ISO 27001. Controls like secure entry points, surveillance cameras, and locked storage cabinets help protect your physical infrastructure. After all, securing your digital data won't mean much if someone can simply walk into your office and steal a server or laptop. Physical barriers and monitoring systems help ensure that only authorized personnel have access to critical hardware. Fourth, incident management. No matter how strong your defenses are, there's always the possibility of a security incident. That's why ISO 27001 requires having a solid incident management plan in place. This control ensures that your team can respond quickly and effectively if a breach occurs, minimizing damage and getting systems back online as fast as possible. Regular testing and refining of your incident response plan are crucial for maintaining a resilient security posture. Fifth, security awareness training. One of the most important controls in ISO 27001 isn't technology, it's people. Security awareness training is a key requirement, ensuring that employees understand the risks and follow best practices when handling sensitive data. This involves creating strong passwords, identifying phishing emails, and promptly reporting any suspicious activity. After all, your team is often the first line of defense against cyber threats. And last, monitoring and logging, the final control we'll cover is continuous monitoring. This involves regularly reviewing security logs, tracking suspicious activity, and staying vigilant for potential threats. By continuously monitoring your systems, you can quickly identify and respond to risks before they escalate. Logging is also important for audits, as it provides evidence that your security measures are being properly maintained. ISO 27001 security controls are all about building a layered defense, each one plays a role in keeping your data safe. From access control and encryption to incident response and employee training, these measures ensure that your organization is prepared for any security challenge. Ready to learn more about ISO 27001 and how it can protect your business? Stay tuned for more videos on information security and compliance. Please like, share, and subscribe our channel and visit our website at wiselearner.com.